Performance Monitoring, Sentry's newest and fifth pillar. We don't just want to tell you that your application is broken and has crashes. We want to let you know that your application is slow and then allow you to drill down on that specific code or service and figure out exactly what's slow and optimize and address. As we push code more frequently and move into a distributed microservices architecture, code ends up breaking for a variety of reasons. We test as best as we can, but it's critical for us to monitor and to be able to address issues effectively as we push into later environments. Sentry addresses this for application errors today and crashes, but a broken app or experience is not always just due to application errors. Slow responses and long loading screens and inconsistent experiences drive users away, right? We've all been there. We use an app and you know we're calling for a service, we're trying to get food, we're calling for a cab, and it takes too long, the loading screen is up 10 minutes, you don't know if it's working, and immediately we switch apps and use a competitor, and we likely don't switch back ever. With Sentry's new performance monitoring, we're gonna be able to trace these issues back to these services, specifically back to the poor performing code. So what's gonna happen is we're not only gonna ship up errors with our SDK, we're gonna enable a new integration to ship up transactions, and now we're gonna be able to see how long things are taking in the front end, in the back end, in microservice one, in microservice two. So we're gonna be able to qu answer questions such as, did my last release introduce slowness? Are things out of the ordinary baseline? What's slow? Is it my back end? Is it my front end? Uh, is it, uh, am, I, am I issuing too many API requests? Are they synchronous or should I paralyze them or lazy load, et cetera?